what unified communications offering is best for me? So one of the big, biggest questions that I always get after customers visit Cisco.com and are looking for a new unified communication system or phone system is, what do I go with? I'm on the web page and I see something called the B4K, something called the B6K. There's always reference to communication manager. Uh, I see there's some cloud offerings. I think that's what this is, HCS. And then there's another one called Spark. Then I've got this Meraki thing over here. You know, from looking at the, the Cisco webpage, it's not very clear exactly to what I need. So in this video here, I'm going to go over what these different offerings are and what makes sense for most businesses. So I tried to streamline a little bit here all those different offerings that we saw on the last page. And I've broken this down into a couple, couple categories here. The one thing you'll notice is the Cisco phones, the 7800 and the 8800 series phones, stay true for all these platforms up top, except for Meraki phones, and we'll get to those guys in a little bit. So we'll start off with the Business Edition 4000 here. This is kind of our entry level box. It's good up to about 200 or so users. And you know, if you're realistically above 100, 150, I, I'd probably start pointing it into this box over here, which we'll get into in a second. But what the business in 4000 is, is it's a, a phone box, we'll call it. Okay, it's a box I can put on premise. It has uh, POTS lines on the back, so I can get a, a PRI card for it if I wanted to. And I put it in there, I plug phones in, and I manage it through the cloud. It's a very simple, very easy box to set up very inexpensive. I can set this thing up in less than 10 minutes and I have phones up and running and I have dial tone. Very, very, very simple. One box, pop it in and I'm done. Okay. Once you get beyond the uh, you know 200 limitation here, then we start to go into this middle category over here. And this is usually where a lot of confusion comes in because we have so many offerings and they're actually all the same thing, believe it or not. So whether you're talking about Communication Manager or Business Edition 6000 or 7000, UC and UCS, HCS, UC and third party, spec space support, whatever it is, these are all Communication Manager based offerings, okay? And it's ancillary, ancillary uh, products. So Communication Manager, Unity Connection, Contact Center Express, I am a present server, that's what all these solutions are basically built on. So this middle category here, you could really start out with a small shop that just needs a lot of features and maybe your 35 phones and will take you up to a hundred and something thousand phones, probably can push 200,000 phones, you know, whatever our biggest customers out there are. This is the boat that they're running. They're running Communication Manager and Unique Connection and, and all those applications. So what is really the big difference then if this is all running the same software, what's the difference between a B6K? and UC on UCS or UC on third-party specs-based support. The only difference is this guy here. What server am I putting those applications on? Now, since version 8.5, um, really it started at 9, everything is virtualized. So all I need is a server with VMware, and then I could put those applications on there. So what Cisco did is we said, okay, well, if you're a small shop, maybe under a thousand phones, you know, it, it'd be nice if maybe we gave you that server. So we came out with a package called a Business Edition 6000. And with this guy here, Cisco gives you the server and we give you enough horsepower in there to run about a thousand, thousand users, maybe 1200 phones, something like that. We give you the server, we give you the VMware layer on there and we pre-install all the applications on the B6000 to get you up and running as quickly as possible, okay? This here is a nice bundle because there's a, um, a break on the pricing if you go with the bundle here, so you almost get the server um, at no cost when you, when you purchase the Business Edition 6000, okay? If you're in the camp where, hey, I'm a little bit over 1,000 users or I think I'm gonna be over 1,000 users uh, fairly soon here, that's where we really go into the different options. And you know the next feasible place to start here would be the BE7000, which again is just a bundle. So it's a little bit bigger of a server that could support 2,000, 2,500 phones, something like that. 
Um, again, Cisco provides you with the server here. It's called the Business Edition 7000, a little bit more horsepower, okay? But you might be saying, well, if this stuff's all virtualized and, you know, I'm not using this bundle over here, you know, I can either go to the B7000, it's, it makes a lot of sense if I want to treat my phone system as, let's say, just, just a phone system. It's going to be sitting in the corner, the phone guys are going to manage it, I don't want it to integrate into um, the vCenter, I don't want to have this integrated into my other VMware environment, then I can treat the B7000 like a purpose-built appliance still. Or maybe you're one of those customers that says, hey, you know, I, I get it. It's virtualized. I have all this other hardware that's already there. I don't need a Cisco server per se, or maybe I already have a UCS server. Well, if you already have a UCS server, you know, sometimes there's not really a reason to sell you a 7,000. We'll just sell you the applications and you put that on your own UCS server. And we call that UC on UCS. So you're putting the Cisco applications that we sell you, you get your own VMware license and you put it on uh, your own UCS servers. That's what UC and UCS is. Now obviously not everybody is a UCS customer so that's why we have UC on third-party specs based support. So if you've got a Dell server, maybe an HP server, uh, whatever, as long as it meets the requirements just like any other application would, Intel-based processor, two virtual CPUs, you know, whatever, X amount of RAM. We don't care what you run it on. As long as you meet the specs, you can run Communication Manager, UniConnection, Contact Center Express on your own whatever servers, and we'll support you guys um, with that from that standpoint on the application side, okay? And then we have HCS over here, which, again, is still the same application. Still Communication Manager, still Unity Connection, still Contact Center Express, or it could be Enterprise, whatever. Um, but you don't want to put it on your server. You'd rather somebody else host it for you. So HCS is an offering that our partners have that they will host these applications for you on their servers in their data centers. It's a complete cloud offering. You'd obviously still have phones on premise and you might have gateways for PRI or PSTN access, but the servers and all the applications and all the backup and everything like that is taken care of for you from our partners. And that's what H HCS is. Then we'll move into Spark over here. So I've done a bunch of different videos on registering phones to Spark and what Spark looks like today, but this is a new offering from Cisco and this is Cisco hosting your phone system. So it's not through a partner, you still purchase it through a partner, but it's actually Cisco's cloud. And there's three components to this, messaging, meeting, and calling, okay? And this is not communication manager. So it's not gonna have all the little bells and whistles and features that everything in this camp over here is gonna have. It's gonna be a little bit more of a simpler phone system, very simple, very easy to set up. Here you can get it going in you know, five minutes if you wanted to because it's all cloud-based. Cisco takes care of your PSTN access with Spark as well. So you pay us and we usually go through Intellipeer. We've got other providers coming online as well. You put the phone in. You don't have to have a gateway or anything on-premise. Just the phone plugs in the internet and Cisco kind of takes care of everything for you guys. Okay. This uh, today doesn't have the, as much feature richness like with contact center and skills-based routing and things like that. A lot of that stuff will be coming, but this is a new offering from Cisco, so it's still, still in its, in its um, I won't call it infancy. Uh, it's probably in its toddler phase at this point right here. Really good. Um, great for small, medium-sized businesses, 200 phones, 300 phones, whatever. Um, Spark's a great offering for that. And again, uses all the same phones, so if you start out with Spark and you say, hey, we really need some of these advanced features, you could always go back to this camp over here, keep your same phones, no big deal. And then the last one we'll talk about over here is Meraki, okay? So Meraki, inside of Cisco, wanted to come out with their own phone product because they wanted it all to integrate into their dashboard. So if you're a Meraki shop, You'll have your single dashboard for your switches, your access points, your MX security boxes, your security cameras if you wanted to. They've got the new security cameras out there too, and their phone. Now the one thing to mention here is their phone is not the same as normal Cisco phones, okay? 
these are not compatible as of today. So, you know, I'd have to go out, purchase this phone here, um, and tie it into my Meraki subscription. And they, again, will take care of your PSTN access for you as well. But it is a different phone. It's a different system that's, that's kind of tied in here. So really good if you're full Meraki shop. Hey, I get to manage everything through one dashboard. Makes it really easy. And you know, just to recap, the 4,000, 200 users and below, the communication manager offerings, whether you go be 6K, 7K, UCM, UCS, whatever, these will take you guys from 30 employees up to hundreds of thousands of employees. Spark new Cisco cloud offering, great for anybody. Um, and then we have the Meraki. If you're a Meraki shop, go with the Meraki phone and manage everything through one dashboard. So hopefully this cleared things up. Um, love to hear from you guys in the comments. And if you have any other questions, I can answer them in there. Thanks a lot.